What is going on everybody and welcome to another Coffee Break episode. Today might be a little bit funny, um, depending how you see it, but at least for me, I think it's funny because, you know, I don't think school is for everyone. Let's just start it with that, right? That's how we're going to start this uh, Coffee Break. I don't think school is for everyone. You can start hitting up that comments right now and just letting me know what you think about that. But school wasn't for me, right? It wasn't for me. Not that I didn't want to pursue school. It just, my options weren't there. Um, maybe I didn't have people around me to like guide me through the school system and whatnot. But so growing up, I grew up in the Bronx, bad schools all over the place, right? At least from, from when I was growing up. And uh, the school, the, the junior high school I went to was horrible. I graduated from there and from junior high school, I said, you know what? The next school I go, I wanna make sure that it's a good school. So I did my own research, I you know did my own thing, whatever. And um, I start looking for schools. So from the Bronx, I ended up finding a school in Manhattan because I was into, I used to draw a lot all the time, do a lot of sketches. So I said, maybe I'll go to school for, maybe a high school for um, art and design, some type of a creative space for high school. So I said, let me look up. So I saw a few, a few of them. I saw this one school, a uh, graphic design. I don't know if it's, if it's still there or whatever, but all I know is that when I went, it said, you need to take an exam to get into this school. So I did the exam. I, I had to draw someone and they were sitting on a, on, on a table or a desk or whatever. And there was a, a couple of other things you had to do. So I applied to it. And then next thing you know, I get a letter in the mail. And I'm like, okay, it's from the school. They said, Dear Jonathan, you overqualified. Overqualified. I looked at my mom and I was like so hyped about it too. I was like, yo, I freaking overqualified for this school. But listen, I didn't overqualify. I don't know what the heck they were doing um, at that school or whatever, like the administration. How about that? Because not that I was kind of low, you know, lowering my standards of what I can do. I just, at that moment, I got excited. I said, wow, I overqualified. They said, okay, so we're gonna send you to this school instead. And I said, okay, let's go to that school. So I remember the first day, oh man, just like it was today. I went, I went with my mom, we took the train, hopped on the D train. And we took a trip over there. So mom was like, oh, are you nervous? Are you scared? I was like, no, I think I'm okay. We get to the school. And the first thing that we encounter is metal detectors. And I'm like, metal detectors? My school was bad as heck, my junior high school. They didn't even have metal detectors. Now I'm going to this school that supposedly I overqualified and they transferred and they told me that I should go to graphic design instead, uh, graphic arts. And there's like metal detectors. And I'm like, maybe there's just safety for the kids or whatever. Man, long story short, that school was, I don't know if it was worse or if it was the same as, as my junior high school. I was used to it at that point. And um, I kind of got discouraged a little bit, but I completed my, my courses there. I did, you know, I finished high school at least. And I did all, all my stuff there, right? I was just like, what the heck, man? So I'm in there. I think the only class that, that I loved the most was the graphic design class. And um, then I'm getting to my last year and they're like, hey, listen, you want a grant for college? Are you gonna go to college? And I said, well, I don't know. Let me try it again. Let's see if this time around I could get into a good college. So they had me do an essay, uh, um, you know, for, for some grants and things like that. So I did an essay, I submitted it, um, 
like towards the ending of graduation, they told me, hey, Jonathan, you got approved, you got accepted, you got a full scholarship, you know, whatever school you want to go to, whatever. And, and then at that time, I was just juggling between technology, computer science and all that stuff. So I said, you know what, let me let me see if I can do a, 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 a information technology, you know, major at a school in the Bronx um, called Mercy College. So I said, okay, you know what, let's go there. So. I get the um, um, the approval. I said, "Wow, you got approved. You got you got the grant. You got accepted." I was super excited. Come graduation, they told me, "Hey, listen, we don't have your your um, your letter yet. You're gonna get it in the mail, but you did get the grant. You got all this stuff." So literally, I was walking up with a blank piece of paper. I was literally walking up cap and gown, all that good stuff. And I literally just had a blank piece of paper. It wasn't like the official diploma. It wasn't the, the, the official, you know, um, a scholarship that they were giving me on top of the diploma that they give you there as well. When they start announcing things and I'm like, I guess I didn't pay any, I didn't pay any mind to it. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I enroll in Mercy College. I start school. I'm like, oh my God, help me Lord. Why am I doing the same courses and the same things that I just finished doing in high school? So anyways, long story short, or long story shorter, I get a mail and I'm like, oh, okay. And I look at it and it's a bill. And I'm like, a bill? I thought I had a grant, it was accepted. The grant didn't go through. I got screwed with that one too. I had a huge bill, about, I think it was like 10 grand. It was huge at that point. And I'm like, I gotta drop out. I'm not, I, I can't do this, like, you know, at that time, you know what I mean? Like parents couldn't afford, you know, that, that amount we were supposed to get to the grant and financial aid did, didn't really do anything for me either. Um, And college, there it was. I just did one semester and I said, that's it. I, I can't do this anymore, you know? Now, is school for you? I don't know. For me personally, I truly think that school, right, is not for everyone. There's a specific type of person, you know what I mean? Like. Now that I think about it, when I look back, right, no one ever taught me in school. There was never classes on finances. There was never courses on, on managing a, a bank account. There was never courses on, on how to start your own business, right? That there was, poss there, that there was, or it was a possibility so you could start your own business, right? None of those things. And now that I look back at it, I'm like, you know what? I'm glad I didn't get into a huge debt of, you know, of schooling and, and continue to try to go to college and this, did it. Listen, like I was trying my best in every single aspect, right? I finished high school, I went junior high school, finished high school, wanted to go to college. It just didn't, didn't work out for me. At that point, I was like, you know what? School isn't for me. Let me figure something out. Um, and at that time I was, you know, transitioning my life with, with God, with the Lord and and just going to church and asking God to really guide me and lead me and direct me. Um, I was always filled of, with ideas. I always almost had like that entrepreneurial mindset since I was younger. Um, nobody, you know, like taught me that. I guess it was innate in me. Um, I always wanted to build things and have something on the side. So I look for, for a job, you know, I end up getting a job. The Lord ended up opening up a, a, a door for me and you know, I can get into to that one. That's a, a whole nother story. But, you know, in the way the Lord operates and the way the Lord opens up doors when you present things before him. And I'm not saying, you know, don't go to school. Don't get me wrong. It just wasn't for me. And at the same time, I do want to say, like, if you don't know what to do with school, just take a step back and figure out what you like and maybe go in that direction. If I was told before, hey, listen, you know, you can you can go to like a trade school specifically for for music production, for video production, for this. 
I probably would have done that. I would have went in, 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 in that direction, but I really didn't have anybody like to tell me, hey, listen, you could do this, you could do that. You can apply maybe for this, this, and the third. I was, it was like trial and error, you know what I mean? I can't blame my mom. You know, she, she didn't know too much of how that stuff worked either. Um, but now that I, I, I reflect a little bit, you know, the system is designed for you to go to school, go to work, you know, get a degree, get into huge debt, and then hopefully land the job in, in corporate America and get a salary and all that stuff. But there's never really anyone telling you, hey, listen, what do you like to do? Before you get into college, before you even start like, you know, planning your stuff for college, what do you like to do? Is that something that you can see yourself doing for, for a while? You're passionate about this? You know you can start a business. You know you can do this, this, and the third. You know you can set this up, that, up, 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 and all these other things that there are options available to you now, right? So if you're right now struggling with school or anybody who's watching this that's trying to get into school and they're not sure or they're, they're being kind of like pressured into go to school because that's the way to go. That's the way the system is designed, you know, to follow these you know, steps, go to school, go to school, go to school, go to college, go to college, go to debt, get, you know, get a bill, get, and then hopefully you get a job and hopefully you get paid where you're supposed to be getting paid. And then, you know, it's, listen, school wasn't for me. And school may not be for you, but that doesn't mean that you stop there, right? You don't stop there. You keep going, you keep pressing, you keep looking for outlets, you keep looking for ways to, to get, on, on your feet in one way, shape, or form. Above all things, when you put God first in your life or you start applying him into your life, into your ideas, into your heart, into your mind, he starts opening up those doors that people close on you. Like schools were closing on me. Grants were, were being granted to me even though they said I was gonna have one. But having God on my side, God opened up the doors that men weren't opening up for me. And God was the one opening up for me. And I landed a, 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 an amazing job. You know, I did well there. I went for a long time. And usually when at that time, when I got that job, you needed like crazy credentials. You needed crazy college. You needed some type of experience at a banking level. I had zero, 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 zero everywhere. Like not, no qualifications whatsoever. But I was humble. You know, I love the Lord. I still do. I believed in him and I still do. And I saw his hand and I still see his hand, even though I'm not working there anymore. But God is still doing an amazing thing. That doesn't disregard school. I'm just saying, assess what you got, what's going out for you. If you don't really wanna do it, then don't do it. Figure out what you're passionate about and make sure that you're putting a lot of work into it to make it happen because it's not gonna just happen by itself. It does take faith, belief in God, but also it takes action, some type of motion on your part to make it happen, right? So. What's the moral of this coffee break? School may not be for you. It wasn't for me, but that doesn't mean you stop pursuing that thing that you wanna go after, right? Don't get lazy, don't get discouraged, uh, don't doubt. Just take a step back, analyze what you got going on, and go for it. Do what you gotta do, because God would open up the doors that man seems to close in front of you. I don't know who's watching this right now, who's on the other side. I don't know what you're dealing with now when it comes to schooling, when it comes to work, when it comes to just your finances. Trust God, believe in God, and he will open up the doors, just like he did in my life, even though I didn't think, you know, I was gonna end up where I ended up now. And I'm blessed, I feel blessed, and I'm so thankful for it because it was God's doing and never mine. I just decided to just trust God in every step of my life and 
that also included my schooling. I didn't go to school. I didn't finish college. And I'm at the best place I can possibly be right now at this moment for me, right? And I know there's more, but looking back, I was like, wow, God, you really made a way. But it took a lot of work, took some crying, took a lot of, a lot of prayer, and a lot of action involved in this. So you do the same thing. If school's not working out for you, don't worry. Take it step by step, create a plan, and execute it. So with that being said, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the videos yet, please do so. Hit that bell icon so you could be notified on new videos that are coming out just like this one. And leave a comment, share it, it helps with the algorithm. Trust me, I told you I was gonna be bringing you new videos cons more consistently. And that I'm doing. So, thank you for watching, thank you for tuning in. You already know what's up. Great coffee in the house, information's in the description. Hit that link, buy some coffee, and get yourself motivated. Until then, we'll see you in the next one. God bless.